Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look into another flow use case, but we're going to focus on recommendations and next best actions and how to configure that using this flow use case. This use case was actually sent to me by one of my viewers. Um, she had a request to basically show on the account page some recommendations for the sales rep to be able to close opportunities. The main requirement was if an account has open opportunities beyond the close date, we want to show recommendations that, hey, go ahead and close your opportunities or update your opportunity stages or do something on the opportunity, just as a reminder to the sales rep. I'm going to simplify that a bit. I'm not going to add the date, but I'm just going to focus on the open opportunities. So by the end of this, we should see a recommendations on the account page if there are open opportunities. So you can easily do this just by using Flow without using Nest Best Actions, but um, we're just going to use that scenario to try that out as well. Now, if you're not familiar with Nest Best Actions, there are essentially two main types of Nest Best Actions. One that is generated in the Einstein discovery piece. So that's the additional license that comes with CRMA Plus. So that will be things like um, AI generated recommendation based on your data. So the more data you feed into the model, it will recommend that, hey, this opportunity might close if you do X, Y, Z things. So it will recommend you on how to better close your opportunities or how to increase the win rate for your opportunities, for example. So that is AI based. But then there's also another type where you can actually just use some logics and rules in place and show the actions using flow. So in this case, we're just going to use logic. There is no AI involved. Things to know about Nest Best Actions if you don't have the CRMA Plus is that your org comes with 5,000 free um, requests available to you and it's on a monthly basis. It's a usage based. So depending on how many times the Nest Best Action gets served up to the reps, those are how many will be counted against this 5,000 limit. Now note here is that every time the page loads, that's going to count against this. And every time you accept or reject it, also it's going to count against this. And um, there are different tiers of licenses. You can get unlimited license or a more of a account-based license as well. Here's the Salesforce documentation, how they're calculated and um, what's included. So this is the free org-wide request. You can also get additional 10,000 requests. You can have a service called Einstein that provides unlimited action for a single user. You can also have a Lightning Platform Plus. So definitely talk to your AE um, if you are going to use this solution because licenses do really vary a lot. And if you have CRMA Plus, then you can get the AI-based Nest Best Actions for free that's included in there. But again, talk to your AE regarding the licensing. Now let's talk about how to configure Nest Best Actions. So it's kind of a three-step process. Um, I would say the first step is creating the actual flow that you want your users to take the action on. So in this case, since I want to have a list of opportunities that the user can select and update in that same table, I need to first create that flow. Then the second step would be creating the actual recommendation. So what does that mean is there is an object called recommendation in Salesforce and you will basically just create that record. So you can give it a name that makes sense to you. Acceptance label is what the users will see. So it's something like update opportunities, rejection label, not ready to update opportunities, action. So this is where the flow that you just created will appear. So all of the flows in your org will appear here and you can give it a name and description and upload image to make it look more visually appealing. Now, once you are done with this step, then comes the third A and B step. So the third step would be you would create another flow to surface this recommendation. Um, so I will walk you through that as well. It's a recommendation strategy template flow that you will just use to surface the recommendations. And then you will just pop in that next best action component into the page that you want to show the recommendations on. All right, so let's break it down step by step and go through it. So first step, I'm gonna create the flow. So I'm gonna have a screen flow here because I want users to interact with this. And the first step, I'm going to actually get the records. So I wanna get open opportunities. And my condition is account ID equals create a variable record ID text. All right. So that's 
another condition is I want is closed equals false and this is where you can add other conditions like um, closed date is greater than today or something like that or less than today so I'll save it update opportunities from count will be used in recommendation okay guy made a mistake here let me and make sure all records are selected save so I get a list of opportunities the next step is using a screen to actually show that table to update the opportunities now here I'm going to use a custom data table uh, from unofficial salesforce.com because the standard data table does not allow you to edit things it will just let you select rows but not edit it at least at this time um, so this component is really awesome I will also share the link for that how to install it and make sure you give yourself a permission set that it's needed otherwise it won't show up here so once you have everything installed you'll see under custom you have a data table if you did not want to use this you have two other options one um, you can just use a for loop and then add screen after that for loop so essentially if there are five opportunities the user will have to go click next five times to see and update all the opportunities going through various screens I don't like that experience especially if you have a lot of opportunities another option is just having a developer building a data table for you that you can just use it in the flow call it off list here opportunity is the object that I'm looking for and display which records so what records do we want to display on this since I already have a collection that I just queried in the previous step I can just use that I don't want a pre-selection but you could have another list to have pre-selected everything else I'm gonna leave it as it is show maximum number of records to display that's fine yeah and I also need to make sure I'm actually adding the right fields so I'm gonna go to configure columns and I'm gonna pick my columns so I want to have close date maybe they want to update the close date maybe we want to update the stage name as well will be helpful I also want to know if it's lost why was it lost make the name the first column and this is how it look like and make all columns editable that's fine make the width flexible that's good this is really cool I love this tool all right so we have everything on the data table and yes so I'm gonna hit done and now all I need to do is have an update element to actually update the opportunities that I selected and edited in the previous step and for that now you will already have a screen component of list data table and then you can say output edited rows and this will take care of everything it will take the edited rows and will actually update those opportunities directly so you don't have to take any extra step for that which is awesome if I was doing this in a real project I would have some catch and error handling as well just to make sure if something errored out because of validation rule or whatnot you are catching that properly okay so we are pretty much ready with the flow let's just give it a quick test all right so I'm seeing two opportunities on that and if I just uh, change this to qualification by the way if you're seeing this where the pick list becomes squeezy you can add extra space on your screen kind of a hack then hit next and that should update the opportunities and both are now in qualification stage awesome so we know that the flow works so one thing we can do is directly put this flow on the account page and have some sort of decision and that should also work if you don't want to use next best actions that's totally a valid way to do this but since we're trying to learn next best actions let's do that so next thing is I'm going to now create the recommendations hit new and update opportunities 
with my name same as description I'm gonna upload an image here let's see if I have anything on my org use this image and update view open ops need more somebody's rejecting you can also say why you're rejecting need more information is probably a valid choice and then we go ahead and pick our flow that we just created let me make sure the flow is active it is not active so first you have to activate the flow so that it appears that flow that we just created update opportunities from account and hit save all right so we have the recommendation created next step is and I promise this is like one of the last steps, second last step. Now we're gonna create a flow, but this time we're gonna use a template recommendation strategy. Now everything is kind of in the flow builder, which is nice. So now you can use recommendation strategy template to actually surface the recommendations. And I like the fact that it is same experience as building a flow. So you don't have to learn anything extra. There are some things with the recommendation strategy flow where you don't have access to certain elements so in this case first i want to make sure that i'm not showing recommendations for every single account so to do that i'm going to first get ops and basically it's the same criteria that i used before and give me all records hit save I'm still getting used to the new UI where I have to save it, which is actually a good thing because you will not lose your work. Um, and let's name it um, recommendation on account. Then now that we have that, let's do a decision element. Does account does account have open ops and open ops and then we'll do opportunities from get ops is null false so if this is not null which means it has open opportunities the other outcome can be no open ops now basically we are only going to surface the recommendations if it has open ops so we'll add that here to do that, um, so now how does it know which recommendation to surface? You'd have to do a get records, get opportunity recommendation. And now we're going to query that recommendation record we just created. So recommendation, and you can just query on name equals going back here. I called it update ops, so I'm just going to copy that paste it here and when you're deploying it make sure you have this as your step to create that recommendation otherwise it will not work in this case I know I only have one record so that's fine Let's save again then what we want to do is create an assignment assign Another variable that you will have access to is output recommendation. I did not create that. That was already available in this template. So I'm going to use that. And since that is a list, I'm going to add my recommendation that I just queried. Okay, so I'm adding the recommendation. So there might be scenarios where you may have multiple recommendations and then you can just query them all and add it in this recommendation uh, variable so that it will display all of them nicely. Hit done and save this. Let's do a quick debug just to be sure. Adding the account ID, hit run. Okay, so it went in the right decision. It found the open opportunities and then it also found the recommendation record. That is the ID of my recommendation record that I just created. Okay, so it looks like it works. Now I'm gonna just activate it. And I promise this is the final step. So now let's go to the account page and then go to edit page. And what we're going to do is find the next best action component, that one, drag and drop that right here. And just make sure you are updating this. Um, 
this actually took some time from me because I did not update this and I was not seeing the actions. You actually have to go here and say which strategy source we are using because strategy builder was the old way of doing things. Now you are using the flow builder, which is the latest recommended approach to use recommendations. So use the flow builder, select that, and then it will automatically bring up all the recommendations that you have. We just created recommendation and account. So I'm going to select that. You can also say maximum recommendation displayed. So in that scenario where I, if I queried multiple recommendations, I could show multiple in the same one as well. You can show the title if you like, since it's the same as the description, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and you can show the image to make it look nicer. You can also hide the Einstein if you like. If you don't like Einstein there, you can also hide it. And you can also rename this if you want to call it like recommendations or something and you can also have reject option and launch a flow on rejection so we did not build that but you could potentially have a launch flow on rejection and there you can have agents to maybe enter some reason for why they're not updating the opportunity and so on all right let's hit save and we will see the final result all right so this is what it looks like you have this one and update op ops. That's the actual um, acceptance title that we put. And this is the rejection title. So if I click on this, it is going to launch the flow that I created. And I can update the date here. I made it empty, looks like. I can update the date. And I can update the stage to prospecting. The last one is kind of tricky because it's kind of hiding and yeah then we can save it hit next and then it will automatically close the recommendations or flows and if we come back here we can see things that are updated and once all the opportunities are closed the recommendations will go away because we did add that criteria in the recommendation flow all right that is all for today let me know if this was helpful or if you have any questions about either the flow or the next best actions i'll be happy to help in the comments and i will share all the materials and the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.